Have you ever noticed how being around a narcissist can feel suffocating, almost like a room filled with a pungent, deathly odor? It's not just in your head. In this video, we're diving deep into the chilling concept of why narcissists metaphorically smell like death from the toxic energy they exude to the psychological decay they leave in their wake. We'll uncover the dark, unsettling truth behind this phenomenon. Stay tuned, because what you're about to discover might just change the way you perceive narcissists forever. Before diving into the ocean of knowledge, let me make it clear that I won't insist you to subscribe. If you enjoy the video, you will subscribe on your own. However, I do insist that you watch the video until the end and leave your review in the comment section. Now, let's get started. Number one, fear of exposure. Narcissists live in constant fear of being unmasked. Their entire identity is a carefully constructed facade designed to project an image of superiority, charm and confidence. Beneath this exterior, however, lies a fragile sense of self that is terrified of being exposed for what it truly is insecure and vulnerable. The label of narcissist threatens to shatter this carefully built persona, stripping away the falsehoods they've used to manipulate and control others. For a narcissist, being seen as narcissistic isn't just a criticism, it's a direct attack on the very foundation of their existence. This fear drives them to obsessively prove they aren't what they fear most. They'll engage in elaborate mental gymnastics, denying their narcissistic traits and projecting them onto others. By doing so, they maintain the illusion of their false identity, avoiding the painful reality of self-reflection. This relentless need to protect their image and avoid exposure explains why they're so determined to convince the world and themselves that they are anything but narcissistic. Number two, the mirror defense mechanism. The mirror defense mechanism is a psychological tactic that narcissists frequently use to deflect blame and avoid accountability. When accused of narcissistic behavior, rather than reflecting on their actions, they project those same accusations onto others. For example, if someone calls them out for being manipulative or self-centered, a narcissist might immediately turn the tables, claiming the other person is actually the manipulative or self-centered one. This tactic serves a dual purpose. It confuses the accuser and diverts attention away from the narcissist's own flaws. By creating a smokescreen, the narcissist maintains control over the narrative, leaving others doubting themselves and their perceptions. This defense mechanism is deeply rooted in the narcissist's fear of exposure. At their core, narcissists are acutely aware of their own vulnerabilities and insecurities. However, acknowledging these would shatter the grandiose image they've built of themselves. By using the mirror defense, they protect their fragile self-esteem, ensuring that the negative traits they despise in themselves are projected onto others rather than being confronted. This not only allows them to avoid the painful process of self-reflection, but also reinforces their belief that they are superior and above reproach. The mirror defense is a powerful tool that keeps the narcissist's carefully constructed facade intact while keeping others entangled in their web of manipulation. Number three, validation addiction. Validation addiction is a core aspect of a narcissist's psychological makeup, driving much of their behavior. At the heart of this addiction is an insatiable need for external affirmation to prop up their fragile self-esteem. Narcissists crave constant validation from others, whether it's praise, admiration, or even just attention. This need is so overpowering that it governs their interactions, leading them to manipulate situations and people to secure that much-needed validation. They'll often go to great lengths to appear non-narcissistic, because acknowledging their true nature would strip away the positive feedback they so desperately seek. In this sense, their obsession with proving they aren't narcissistic is a way to ensure they continue receiving the validation they thrive on. This relentless pursuit of validation is also a form of control. By convincing others that they're not narcissistic, they secure a steady supply of praise and admiration, which feeds their ego and reinforces their distorted self-image. However, this addiction is never truly satisfied. The more validation they receive, the more they crave. This leads to a vicious cycle where the narcissist becomes increasingly obsessed with maintaining their facade, all to keep the validation flowing. Over time, this addiction isolates them from genuine relationships and self-awareness, leaving them trapped in a constant state of need, never able to fully satisfy the emptiness they feel inside. Number four, control and manipulation. 
control and manipulation are fundamental strategies that narcissists use to maintain power over others and protect their fragile egos. At their core, narcissists are driven by an intense need to dominate their environment, ensuring that everything and everyone aligns with their desires. This obsession with control is why they are so focused on proving they aren't narcissistic. By manipulating the narrative and the perceptions of those around them, they can shape how they are viewed, ensuring that their image remains untarnished. This allows them to sidestep any accusations of narcissism, keeping others off balance and unsure of what's true. Through subtle manipulation such as gaslighting, shifting blame, or feigning innocence, they skillfully orchestrate situations to their advantage, all while appearing innocent or even victimized. This manipulation extends to all areas of their relationships. Narcissists use control tactics to keep others dependent on them, emotionally, psychologically, or even financially. By proving they aren't narcissistic, they disarm potential critics, making it difficult for anyone to challenge their behavior. This illusion of non-narcissism is a calculated move to prevent others from questioning their authority or motives. The result is a toxic cycle where the narcissist remains in control, while those around them are manipulated into doubting their own perceptions and feelings. This control isn't just about power for the narcissist, it's about survival, as maintaining this dominance is essential for preserving their fragile self-image and preventing the exposure they dread. Number 5. False self-preservation. False self-preservation is a critical aspect of a narcissist's psyche, rooted in the need to protect a carefully constructed but deeply insecure identity. Narcissists create a false self as a shield against their profound feelings of inadequacy and vulnerability. This false self is an idealized version of who they wish to be grandiose, flawless, and deserving of admiration. However, this identity is incredibly fragile, built on a foundation of illusions and lies, the obsession with proving they aren't narcissistic stems from the need to protect this false self at all costs. Admitting to narcissism would mean confronting the reality of their flawed and insecure true self, something they are unwilling and often unable to do. To preserve this false self, narcissists engage in constant self-deception and manipulation of others. They construct elaborate narratives that paint them as misunderstood, virtuous or even self-sacrificing, all to maintain the illusion that they are not the problem. By convincing others and themselves that they aren't narcissistic, they reinforce the facade that their false self is real and intact. This relentless preservation effort leads them to deny, deflect and project, avoiding any confrontation with their true self. In the end, this strategy traps them in a cycle of deception, where the preservation of their false identity takes precedence over authentic self-awareness and growth, leaving them disconnected from reality and genuine relationships. As we've uncovered today, the world of a narcissist is far more complex and unsettling than it may appear on the surface. From their bizarre rituals to their secretive plotting, these hidden behaviors reveal a deeper, often darker side of their personality. Understanding these actions helps us better navigate interactions with narcissists and protects ourselves from their manipulative tactics. If you found this insight into the strange and unsettling behaviors of narcissists enlightening, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into the world of narcissism. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below what behaviors have you noticed that you'd like us to explore next. Stay tuned and stay aware.